The son of a music professor, young John Carpenter grew up enthralled by movies, especially westerns and B-grade science fiction films. His passion for watching movies turned into a passion for making movies, and he began shooting 8mm horror films even before he was in high school. In 1970, as a college student at the University of Southern California School of Cinematic Arts, he was a co-writer, film editor, and music composer on a school film project, The Resurrection of Bronco Billy, which won an Academy Award for Best Live Action Show short film and also saw a two-year-long theatrical run from Universal Studios. Following this first spurt of success, Carpenter co-wrote and directed his first feature-length movie, the comedic sci-fi film Dark Star in 1974. The film was another success for Carpenter's career. His popularity grew out of his ability to make visually creative movies with extremely low budgets. He went on to write, direct, edit, and compose the musical score for Assault on Precinct 13 in 1976. This was his first collaboration with producer Deborah Hill, who went on to produce several more of Carpenter's movies, amongst many other films, all the way up until her untimely death at age 54 from cancer in 2005. John Carpenter appeared to have a knack for tackling the major creative duties of filmmaking. He put his talent for multitasking into good and lucrative use for probably his most famous and influential film to date, the 1978 independent horror classic, Halloween. With a mere $320,000 budget, Carpenter once again directed the film, composed the classic chilling music score entirely on synthesizers, and also co-wrote and co-produced the film with Deborah Hill. Following in the footsteps of films like Psycho and Black Christmas, Halloween broke cinematic boundaries and stressed suspense and atmosphere over gore and shock, something many horror movies nowadays tend to forget. It set the standard for the modern slasher film, introducing us to the twisted psychopath Michael Myers as he stalks and kills neighborhood babysitters, including the young Jamie Lee Curtis. Not only did this film jumpstart an entire sub-genre of horror films, but also spawned seven sequels, a 2007 remake by Rob Zombie, and a 2009 sequel to the remake. Despite a slow start, the film went on to grow $70 million worldwide, which today with inflation is equal to a little over $200 million. And with such a tiny budget, Halloween became one of the most successful independent films of all time.